My addiction started off at a really, really young age, actually with love and relationship addiction. My desire to be loved and my need to be loved and accepted was so deep that it took me to places that I wouldn't have gone. Probably in my early 20s is when I really crossed the line into drug and alcohol addiction. It became an addiction when I had the inability, the utter inability to manage or control how much I would do. Um, and it really became an addiction when I found true identity in the addiction itself and the active use. But it was in, I remember walking down the street um, on a way to a meeting and thinking, hey, you know, I can, I can do this for me because um, I originally hadn't gotten to recovery for me. And then it really cemented and had a, a DNA change um, when I found uh, Christ and recovery in Christ. Jesus is the key factor of, the, of sustained freedom, uh, a daily reprieve uh, based on a fit spiritual condition. And also, um, the sustained freedom is the identity in Christ that um, I don't have to live the way of the world. I can live um, by who the Word says that I am. If you know the truth, then you know the freedom that you have in Jesus Christ. If you know the truth, you can be set free. And that truth is that Jesus Christ loves you right where you're at, no matter what your current circumstance is. And that he loves you, he's got you. But he loves you too much to leave you there no matter what. The renewing of my mind now, compared to when I was addicted, is I don't find anesthetization in who I think I was. Um, I find freedom in knowing who Jesus says that I am. There's a point in when somebody comes in when they first come in, they're completely broken and um, destroyed and depressed and addicted. And after they start coming for a little while, um, they finally meet Jesus. There's a light that goes on in their eyes. And you can see their countenance change. And you can see uh, hope start to spill from them. And they start... Um, helping other people and they start sharing their story and um, that's when I know that they're going to have sustained freedom. I don't feel like I've ever let God down because I never held him up. I know that God doesn't make junk and that he made me. I have a daily pursuit on the realization that I am a son of the king and the king has set me free.